Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we come to you in prayer. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank, have thanksgiving for you and you alone because through the thanksgiving of you, there's much to be thankful for. For it's through your greatness and wisdom and understanding that you make things grow and, and become better through those that have a thankful heart to you and we thank you father and we praise you amen thank you father god all right today's sermon is called thanksgiving of thanking god the thanksgiving of thanking god the thanksgiving of thanking god so let's start off by going to psalms which is tehillim and in, in uh, hebrews all right, and we're going to go 100 of that, of uh, 1 through 5. So let's head over there. All right, praise God. And it speaks and saith, are we ready? Uh, Shout for joy to Yahweh, all the earth. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Enter his praise with joyful song. Be aware. That Yahweh is God. We need to be aware every moment when we sleep, when we eat, when we rise, when we do things for others and ourselves. We need to be aware that God is God and greatly to be praised. Amen. It is He who makes us, and we are His, His people, the flock of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. We've got to enter those gates. We've got to enter the gates of our hearts with thanksgiving for our God and for each other because we were creating God's image and God's likeness. And therefore, that's part of, of that as well. Enter his courtyards with praise. So, so we enter the gates with thanksgiving and eat. And then once we're entered, we praise the Lord and the courts. With praise, courtyards, give thanks to him. And when it refers to God, and their that dual word for him is the Messiah and the Word. So giving thanks to the Messiah, giving thanks to to the Word of God, praise in His name. Did you see that? Pray, bless His name, bless His name. Amen. Identifying back and forth that who the him is is not referring to a normal way of saying him, but it's referring and quoted for Messiah and also for the Word of God. For Yahweh is good, his grace continues forever, and his faithfulness lasts through all generations. Wouldn't that be a nice um, praise and worship song? His faithfulness uh, lasts throughout all generations. Someone needs to work on that. Praise God. So that's our first um, thought today. So we need to have a thankful heart as we enter God's gates. And in the courtyard, praise in our hearts with interaction of helping others and 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 really loving God as we do it and and doing what God wants every day what he requires of us every day let's go to Luke Luca chapter 18 verse 35 through 43 amen let's see what the Messiah himself says unto us today amen and and uh, Saint Luke Luke um, all right 35 of, of 43, and it says, As Yeshua um, approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the road begging. And when he heard the crowd going past, he asked, What if, I mean, what it was all about? And they, and they told him, Yeshua from Nazarite, is passing by he called out yeshua son of david have pity on me what are we doing are we saying every day not 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 maybe in that way because we we really know that yeshua the god of creation 
Have pity on us every day so that we can do what's right in your ways because we know we're, we're nothing without you. That's what that's the, the hidden words within the words of someone saying, have pity on me. He said, I, I need help. I know you're the help I need. And that's what he was saying. So are we saying that to God every day? We're saying, hey, I need your help, God, every day, you know, as we cry out to before the Lord for, for his justice on our minds and his mercy upon our hearts. Verse 39, uh, those in front scolded him in order to get him to shut up. There's always people trying to get you to shut up from don't, going to the God's throne. Don't let people shut you down from going to God's throne and getting that miracle, getting that 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 question answered, getting whatever it, your needs met. Don't let people shut you down. You stand your ground and do go to God's throne and pray to God and, and you receive your answer in due time, praise God. But but guess what he did? He but he shouted all a louder. When people shut you down from your family praying in the marketplace or doing godly things, you don't let them shut you down. You just do it more. You do it more. Just like you, the principle you're learning right here. And that's giving thanks eternally to, to your creator. Because your creator has done great things. He didn't die um, privately. He died publicly. So what should we do? We should, we should do it publicly. Announce our love and devotion and zeal for our creator that created heaven and earth and created us in his image and likeness. Amen. Even though in all our corks that we have, God said, speak and speak to and resist you and said, I know there's greatness in you, but you got to yield in thanksgiving and praise in my throne. So are we going to do it today? Are we going to are we going to have those thanksgiving in our heart and praise audibly before our men and women? Praise God. For a God Almighty that loves us, that is devoted to, to making us uh, wonderful people and help on us. All right, so let's continue. And then Yeshua stopped and ordered or ordered the man to be brought to him. So when we uh, when we are assistant and and breaking through to God and making a difference in our neighborhood when everybody says you don't do that. When you keep doing it, we keep doing it. Guess what? God says, bring this man, a woman to me. Bring this child of God to me. You know? So and when he's when he had come, Yeshua asked him, What do you want me to do for you? That is a big thing. That's like a blank check right there. God said, what can I do for you? When you when you enter the gates with, with thanksgiving and praise in the courtyard and a, a pure of heart not wanting to, to ask for uh, like a lot of people do and all this natural wealth stuff. No, but you say, Lord, I want to do your will. I want more of you. I want to see my neighborhood become godly and people being able to cross the road without getting run over, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And the children have a place to play proper and, and the elderly having the proper things that they need and everybody else in between having the things they need as and that's, that's what God wants, and that's what we really want. So don't cheapen it. Having all these treasures, when it, what you really want is those things. You want, you want things to be right in your neighborhood. You want things to be holy and uh, going across the street without thinking, well, is my kid going to make it today across the road before a car comes by? You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's, let's continue. <clears throat> the blind man said, Lord, which is another way of saying master as well, let me be able to see. God wanted to, him to see, but he 
if he never asked God to see, if he didn't go to God's gate and, and thanksgiving and saying, Lord, even though I'm not feeling good today, even though my family's messed up, even though this is going on, that's going on, this is going on, I'm going to drop all that and I'm going to give you thanksgiving. And then he go in the courts and he start giving a sacrifice of praise symbolically because sometimes it's not just audibly praising. Maybe it's helping someone. Maybe it's um, even someone, the ugliest person in the world, I mean, with their, their bad ways of being, helping them. Whatever it is, that is part of praise. That's, that's the praising God right there. Amen. So let's continue. The blind man said, Lord, or another way, a master, let me be able to see. Yeshua said to him, see again. He said, see again. You trusted and have, you are healed now. See, part of victory is trusting. So you got the, you got the thanksgiving, you got the praise, and then you got the uh, believing and receiving it, not as a, as a lie, Form, but as a reality form as saying, hey, I got this going on, but I'm going to drop it down low and and take up that thanksgiving and praise to your throne, believing that whatever your sovereignty of God is, it's going to be done. And then it, it will be because we did it in the proper manner because we love God enough to do that. And so God and it says, you trusted, have a healing you. And instead, instantly, he received his sight and began following him. Following who? Yeshua. We got to keep following him. We got to keep following our God, glorifying God. And when all the people saw it, they too praise God. See, God's got to have a testimony through you. And, and, and your difficulties and, and your victories. Both. God's going to use a testimony out of you. And other people will praise God out of it as well. So you remember. Remember it goes two way. Just like a coin has two sides on it. So does your life. One side of God taking care of you. Uplifting you. And breathing his life. And making you a better person every day. But also. The testimony that I will see as God does that through you. Amen. So let's go to 1 Corinthians, all of Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 4 through 9. Let's go over there, my friends. I, I'm hoping you're excited and, and knowing that God loves you today because he really does. So let's uh, read this. I thank my God always for you because of God's love and kindness given through the Messiah Yeshua, through the Mes you gotta go through, you gotta go through to Him. Once you get the, the thanksgiving and praise on and believing that the Lord can do things, we gotta go through, we gotta go to God's throne and say, Here we are, we're in your courtyard. We understand this is your garden, we're, we're just your, your, your creation, and we need, we need to go through to you. Through to God, through to the Lord God of creation that loves you, that is going to give it to you if you are faithful, faithfulness. Verse 5, and that, that you have been enriched by him, by what? The Messiah, in so many ways, practically in power and speech and depth of knowledge. God is a, a pro-learning, by the way, amen. Verse 6, indeed, the testimony about the Messiah has been firmly established in you. you remember the solid rock, you got to be on the solid rock, not the sand. you got to have established you got to be established in the ways of the Lord. Amen. Verse 7, so that you are not lacking my spiritual gifts. God wants to give you spiritual gifts. He does. He really does. And are earnestly waiting to receive our Lord Yeshua. Another way of Lord is Master, but also it's Yahweh. 
connected to that. And the Messiah, and it will en enable you to hold out until the end. Thus be blameless on the day of Yahweh Shua, the, the Messiah, our Master, right? God is trustworthy. And it was He who called you into fellowship with Yeshua the Messiah, our Yahweh God. Amen. God Almighty is the answer to receiving a miracle. Is is going to the place of victory through the gates of giving thanks and the praise of the courtyard, going to God's throne symbolically and saying, God, I'm your child. I cry out to you. And you know what? Any good daddy will say, okay, son. Okay, daughter. Okay, I hear you. I hear I hear that thanksgiving in your in, in your heart and in your mind, the praising of knowing and going to me. You know, it's simply the simple things of doing these things and reacting and receiving God's blessing. Amen. So this day of Thanksgiving that's coming up and basically having Thanksgiving in our heart all the time, every day as well. Remember to thank God for everything because he's the one to receive you and answer and in due time, all things. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 18 through 22 now. Let's go over there. All right. Are we there? I hope so. I hope you got your Bible cracked open and you're following along. This is a complete Jewish Bible. I recommend it. I also recommend the uh, Geneva Bible as well. Um, be careful with some of the translations with the King James, classic King James version. So, uh, yeah, Nelson has always been a really good one for classic King James. So, that's about the only one I recommend uh, for classic King James on uh, who makes them. Nelson is going to be a, a pretty good one to go with. Okay, are we in uh, Jeremiah, the prophet, chapter 30, verse 18 through uh, 22. Thus says Yahweh, I will return to Jacob, the captives of their tents. I will take pity on their dwellings. Cities will be rebuild on its uh, tails with the palaces where they supported to be. From the, him will come thanksgiving. From him will come thanksgiving. And the sound of the people celebrating. So you got to have celebration in your thanksgiving. Amen. Because God's going to bring some joy to your life. Okay. God is going to bring some joy to your life. Are you ready for it? And, and the Thanksgiving comes celebration. And I will increase them and, and they will not be deceased. Decreased. And I will honor them and they will not be despised. Their children will be as they used to be. As they used to be. Don't we want our kids to be more obedient like they used to be? Yeah, there we go. Well, claim that as your verse today. Amen. And I will honor them and they will be not despised and their children will be as they used to be. Amen. Doesn't that just bring chills down you? Um, those that are parents that have a little bit older kids and you kind of wonder what happened to these kids. And, and their community uh, confirmed in my presence and I will punish everyone who oppresses them. God is on your side. Amen. God is on your side. And so those that Try to impress us, these these liberals, these these netwits out here that want to be sinful, that they want to be violent to others that were trying to do right. God is is going to punish them. Amen. Their leaders will be one of of their own. Their rulers will come from among them, and I will ca cause him to come closer and let him approach me for other. Wise, who will guarantee his heart enough to approach me, says Yahweh. You will be 
my people, and I will be your God. That's a great statement in itself. You, we will be God's people. God saying we're His kids, and He will be Daddy, God, Daddy, God. Underline, under, under toning of what He's saying is being God is Daddy. He's saying I'm Daddy. You're not. You're my kids. You listen to me, kids. You listen to me, kids. What you know, the born again. If they, if we listen to our daddy, God, well, we're gonna have a, a lot more to thank for. But we should be thanking anyways as we learn to obey Daddy, the Creator of the universe. Amen. Let's go to Thessalonians. Uh, I love Thessalonia, chapter five, verse sixteen through eighteen. Amen. Are we are we in the Amen. Let it be done mode today. Amen. Because God wants us to be in that mode of let it be done to us and to others. Amen. All right. Are we there? Praise God. All right. Always be joyful. Pray regularly. It doesn't say just pray whenever, you know, pray regularly. And everything give thanks there's always about giving thanks, isn't there? There's, that's something to bring about in this Thanksgiving tomorrow is is uh, giving thanks to God. For His is what God wants from you who are united with the Messiah. Yeshua. He wants us to give thanks to Him. Because you know what? When you give thanks to Daddy in earthly terms of Daddy, don't you want to just give the whole half of the kingdom to them, you know, so to, so to speak, symbolically, of course. Most of us are struggling these days, but, you know, God's grace is sufficient for us, isn't it? Um, so, you know, the Lord is the one that will bring that breakthrough in your life. God is going to take that away and bring something better to you. God is going to take that that situation and make it a stepping stone so that you can go forward with the Lord. God is not done with you. He's just started with you. So you just remember that and, and giving thanksgiving of the thanks to God. Amen. Let's go to 2 Timothy uh, 2 Thomas, Thomas chapter 4 verse 1 through 2. All right. Praise God. Are you excited? I would say you would be. You got a lot to be thankful for one way or another. All right. Are we all there? Are we all? Okay. I suddenly charge you before God and the Messiah, Yeshua, who judge the living and the dead when he appears to establish his, uh, his, his kingdom and community. Uh Proclaiming the word, be on the hand with it, it whether the time it's, uh, seems right nor or not. Convinced, ensured, and exhorted with unfailing patience with teaching. Amen. God expects us to uh, be pro-learning again and again. I'm going to always say that because God is pro-learning. So if you're not learning, start learning every day. Pick up the Bible. Pick up your Federalist Papers, your Constitution. Pick up the um, the manners of, of George Washington when he's young. He wrote, pick up good books. Pick up how to build stuff. Pick up things that will make you a better person because God has, has has made you that better person already. But you have to interact in that. Interact in that. God is a, a, the professor and we're the learners. Amen. So let's go on to the last scripture. Psalm, Sahelam, chapter 107, verse 21 and 22. Let's head over there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And God loves you and I love you too. And so if there's something in here that's been kind of gnawing at you in a little bit, but but it's it's the 
to make and perfect you and make you a better person that you already are, but you don't know it yet. And sometimes things have to gnaw at you to get you to realize, I don't need to put my tech eggs right here. God's got more for you. Praise God. Can I hear a man? Praise God. Okay, so let us read. It says, let him give thanks to Yahweh for his grace. Let him or her give thanks to Yahweh and his grace. Grace, 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 grace. The unlimited favor of, of, of not worthy of it, but he's going to give it to you because he's daddy. And he wants his kids to follow his ways. Amen. We're going to follow his ways today. For his wonders bestow on humanity. There you go. And let him offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, proclaiming his great deeds with songs of joy. You might say, well, I don't have joy. Well, you know what? If you, if I'm guarantee, if you enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise and believing and trusting, not the fake one, but the the real thanks and and, and believing, I mean the real the real uh, believing and, and and trusting and knowing uh, through knowing that God is bigger than that situation, but not. To, Denying the realities of what's going on in you as well. Um, being trustworthy is being truthful. Amen. Faith has truthfulness in it. And when you lie about your situation, it's a lie. But when you say, I'm going to believe, I'm going to trust, and I'm going to know more about God and what he says about that situation. And I'm going to. In his sovereignty, I'm going to believe in his sovereignty. It's going to be his will be done on this. And 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 keep being faithful, even though there's tragedy, maybe, or, or, or hardship, or maybe this, you want to get a raise at your job, or maybe it's just simply the kids are stubborn and they need to learn to, uh, to, to honor you as the parents, or whatever it is. God is in the miracle business, but let's be in reality business as well, because God is not wanting us to do a half truth of what our situation is, but but take it to a higher courts of 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 the Lord, Amen. At the same time, so praise God, and so let's remember in this season of Thanksgiving, have Thanksgiving in our hearts to the one. That we need to give thanks the most, God Almighty, Amen. So I want to pray for those that are lost that would like to be saved today, Arabs, my brothers, my bros. It's your time. You know what? I love you guys. You're rich in culture. You have so much to to, to give to humanity. What you need to do is surrender that pain and hurt of violence that has been caused from hurt and pain of. Other people doings to you, and I and you need to know that it's humanity that will love you, that reach out to you, and 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 help you, and and this the spiritual times that you're in in your heart, and and you turn and you don't know how to reach out because you never had that. Well, today is the day for you Arabs to get saved. Today is the day for Christians and Jews that have left the fold, and, and they're kind of like you know, look warm, you know, and, and they're kind of like doing things that they just don't feel they're connected to God. Today's the day to get back connected to the Lord. Pray this prayer with me. And for all my brothers in the Caribbean and my brothers in South America and my co comrades from all of the Asia, all the way over to Europe, you know, even though Europe's kind of a, need some a lot of prayer these days, all the way to my brothers in Africa, my my extremely bros there. Um, it's time for all of us to go to God's throne right now and get saved. Are you ready to get saved? Just pray this prayer. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you're born again today. I pray for the baptism of the Spirit of God to come upon you now. 
May Psalms 91 protect you. May 23 of Psalms be remembered upon your life. I thank you that 48, 148, 149, 150. Um, a praising God will be remembered upon thee. And may the book of James become reality to you as you read the book of James today. As you read the all the John books. And as you read uh, Proverbs. As you read uh, Ecclesiastics and realize that there is tough times of life. But God puts reason in it. And shows it through Ecclesiastics and reasoning. And I thank you Father and praise you for all things. May the blessing of God. Be upon my little brothers and sisters as God saved or renewed their life. God has got a blessing for you. Amen. Let's let's now end this with the Shalom prayer. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Holiness and brings peace to pass is only setting. Now that's never never broken. The complete peace, the Shalom of God be upon you. Amen. Let's be great because greater is he that's in us than he is in the world. So let's do great things because God is great and greatly to praise. And his greatness is building up in us every day. So let's do great things. Uh, you know, amen. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, to you, to you, to my brothers everywhere. And maybe we'll, and we'll, we'll soon all have a great reunion. Meeting all my bros and sisters all across this globe, having a good time together. God bless you. Shalom.